Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Atlanta, Georgia, here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. And welcome to the fair. Yes, the Georgia State Fair. Continuing my mission to visit every state fair. So uh, this is our 21st state fair here in Georgia. I think it was about two weeks ago. I was at the uh, Alabama State Fair. Been kind of slowly knocking them off over the past couple years. But uh, we're going to put Georgia in the books tonight. So please follow me. we enter the fair here we have some different vendors have the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses right there different people selling uh, different gifts and plushies sunglasses over here there's the uh, the Trump stand selling Trump merchandise and we do have some of the same entertainment we had at the Alabama uh, State Fair. We have the Hollywood Racing Pigs, and then we have the uh, the Puppy Pals show. These are both excellent shows we saw at uh, in Alabama. So kind of breaking down the price, I think it was $10 to park, another uh, $10 to get in, and then it was $25 for the wristband for all the rides. So we're gonna be doing some, we find some rides here shortly. And here we have uh, Goat Island, where we can uh, feed some goats. Now it looks like these goats over here almost have their own like fold-out fun house. There's goats up here on Goat Island. Just they can cross that bridge. Hopefully, there's no trolls under the bridge. Do you goats? You goats want some food? You've been waiting very patiently. There's some goat food for you. You want some goat food as well? Are you doing some tricks up there on that too? Oh yeah, make it rain. There we go. There we go. Okay, this looks amazing. This is something I've uh, not seen at a uh, state fair before. This is America's favorite monkey jockeys, the Banana Derby. You see the old school sideshow poster there. So apparently they have monkeys riding dogs this is at uh, six o'clock so we will definitely uh definitely have to come back and check this out okay so while we're waiting for the uh banana derby let's uh go check out the midway and as we're entering the midway here they have this uh this punching machine over here that's uh, like a uh, a boxing uh boxing punching bag you can measure how hard you punch let's see it says it takes dollar bills so let's see we gotta press the start button where's the start oh there we go there's the start button and there we go you gotta hit hit the ball with your fist let's see what our score is all right get a good knuckle sandwich wound up here and what's my score what's my score it's eight I, I can't read it because it's the sun. But you guys saw you guys saw how hard you guys saw how hard I hit that. It's pretty pretty hard. This here is Martian Madness. You can see one of the rides that uh, you ride in the belly of a creature. Of course, there's the uh, there's the bears that you ride in the belly of. There's the dizzy dragons. But I've never seen the uh, the uh, spinning Martians here before. Martians from Mars. Oh, look at this. I've not seen this fun house before. We have Clown City here. You can see the, the Clown Hotel. I've actually been to the Clown Motel. Let's see the clowns there sitting on a, it's like a bench made out of uh, flamingos there. Oh, look at the entrance here. 
rocking back and forth. So we push through these punching bags here. And uh, okay. Pull noodles and push through. Yeah, these are like. Oh, I did. It's like metal rods dangling covered in pool noodles. And then here we got the, the bungee. Oh, the bungee cords. There we go. Then headed up these winding metal stairs here. All right, we emerge on top of Clown City here. Yeah, see that, Clown City. You get quite a view of the Midway from up here. Oh yeah, look at all the twirling rides over here. All right. Oh, here we have the, the slide. Here we go through the through the barrel here. Oh my gosh! Woo. There we have. Oh, we got one more one more slide here. And that was Clown City. aboard a uh, flying elephant while we're over here as well. All right, let's pick a elephant here. Let's go with the classic pink elephant. Here we go. Up on our elephant here. Got the whole ride to myself. I don't know how, oh, we headed up in the sky here, momentarily. Maybe these are more like, you know, just ground elephants. Oh, 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 I felt a jostle. See that blue elephant there behind me? Yeah, I think this may be more of a, uh, oh, I felt the elephant go down down but uh, that's maybe more of a like uh, an easy like hovering hovering elephant more than a full-blown you know soaring elephant in the vein of uh, the vein of Dumbo Dumbo the flying elephant well maybe I don't know maybe his arm his arm can lift me up all the way or not but uh, yeah nice gentle elephant cruise around the circle that's not even the only elephant ride over here. Just right across the way, we have another flying elephant ride. I think this one looks maybe a little more, uh, a little more vintage. It's got a nice big head hole. Sometimes the heads are. That holes are too small on these gallows. Here we have Crystal Lills, a uh, house of mirrors type fun house. It's got kind of a uh, Wild West theme to it. He's that big cowboy with the uh, golden tooth firing off his, uh, his revolver there. There's some interesting things. Like you look at these these murals on these fun houses, you just find the strangest things. Like the snake coming out of a spittoon. The snake is uh, is covered in. Uh... Okay, it took me a second. The snake's got diamonds on its back. It's a diamondback snake. I was like, why does that snake have jewels? It's a diamondback rattler because it's got the uh, 
the baby rattle, baby rattler on the back. So really, this isn't strange, it makes 100% sense. All right, we enter through the mirror maze here on the bottom. And you know, it's quite possible. I may have, maybe I need to contact uh, Guinness World Records, but I don't know anyone personally who's been in as many mirror mazes as me. I wonder if I've been in more mirror mazes than any other person. If you know a person that's been in more mirror mazes than me, leave a comment in the comment section. I'm even starting to get better at finding my way through them. I'm sure there's probably people out there that are better at getting through mirror mazes, but maybe I've been, maybe. Just a thought. Maybe I, you know, maybe I need to start looking at uh, trying to set world records here. I've been in the most mirror mazes of any person ever alive. And look at this. While I was blathering on about that, I found the staircase. Uh, that must be you what, know, uh, Diamond Lil? This place was called Diamond Lil, right? So make our way up onto the top. And usually up here on the top of the mirror mazes, they have the, the funhouse mirrors. It's like this, this mirror here has been, uh, has, has seen some rough days. We got some duct tape on their funhouse mirrors. That mirror's not even that all that reflective. But uh, down here, the portrait of, uh, of the Admiral here. And now it's time to head down the slide. All right. A lot of these wild mouse style roller coasters, these traveling roller coasters, for whatever reason, they won't let a single rider ride in these. But you know what? I'm, I'm gonna ask. There's not a long line, so I'll ask and see if they will uh, will let me on. Yeah, these are deceptively intense. You see how the curves there are flat, and I can't explain the physics to it. But you know, a roller coaster where there's like the banked turns, you know, when it's like turned up a little bit to the side, that actually softens your turn so on these wild miles where it's just a completely flat track with the abrupt turn for some reason it's super super intense all right here we go did it put me in the car with some other visitors here but uh, hello <laughs> So, uh, but I'm on, finally got to ride a, a wild mouse at a traveling uh, carnival. Why? My wolf is not far away. There we go. These corners are. Oh, oh my god, that one! Oh my god. Oh, I can't look at that one. Oh my god. Whoa, jeez. Oh yeah, those corners are so tight. Oh, here comes the drop. The drop here. Oh, this next drop I think is even bigger. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're spinning now. I didn't know. I didn't know this was a spinning one. Watch the force they come around this corner. Whoa! So yeah, they, they I guess they still have the, the, the no single rider rule for whatever reason. I don't get it. But uh, they were kind enough to just you know go ahead and put me with someone else uh, instead of like telling me that no one wanted to ride with me like the guy did uh, in Ohio. I know some of you really like to see the, uh, the POVs of the roller coaster. So you know what, I'm gonna hop back on and just do a uh, 
a full POV of the crazy mouse. any dark rides but there sure are a lot of fun houses here this one's called either club scene or dance party depending on what side of the ride you are are looking at but uh, yeah let's head into the club scene dance party primary rule to fun houses is no handstands in the barrel head into the rotating barrel here oh yeah you see the, the lights there this is the is some sort of dance club themed fun house. Big spinning, big spinning wheel here. We can get on that. Oh my gosh. I didn't know, I did not know it would go that fast. But you can see the lights there. You think there'd be think they'd be playing like loud copyright music here in the dance club themed fun house. But they are not. And that I think I've been on that long enough. All right, headed up this windy staircase. I'm seriously dizzy from that uh, from that disc. All right, where are we headed? Looking for the slide. Okay, go back in. Just to take a look here, out on the balcony. There's the there's the uh, wild mouse we were just on. Oh, you see the big drop right there. But uh, anyway, back into the dance party. The world's quietest dance party in here. Oh, look at this. You want to hit your head, they actually have a pad there so you don't crack your noggin. Yeah, I can see why. Look how, look how low that is. Oh my gosh. And a surprise twist. We have no, no slide. Oh, it has windows to the outside. You know, you should don't see that in a fun house. And uh, foot rollers. And okay, it's got a fun house mirror, and we are heading out. And yet another fun house here. We have the uh, Surf Shack, a beach or surf themed uh, fun house. You can see a shark there drinking uh, at the tiki bar. I mean, look, they've added a few little things here to the queue. These uh, spinning flowers and some inf inflatable uh, floaties. A little, it's a rock lobster there. It says rock lobster on his shirt. And um, I don't know, I don't, I don't get this one. But they're just an eyeball surfing. Is that some sort of uh, reference to something? And headed in, you never know how loose or tight these foot rollers are gonna be. The rope bridge here. Oh, bummer! Their barrel, their barrel's not barreling. Oh, where my toes are gonna get sucked in right there. Got the rotating disc there. Hop on. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is a self-propelled rotating disc here. Oh, 
There we go. Then from the foot rollers, we go directly into the jungle of punching bags. Yeah, hurry up before a kid comes and hits you in the back. Got a uh, Wolves of the World show beginning here uh, momentarily. Also the last of our original group of wolves that we acquired some time ago that included our alpha male and female. And recently, a few months ago, we lost our alpha female. About five years, actually. And they start branching off and forming their own groups. Going for enough, I guess. Good job, Timber. Let's hear it for Timber! Came back over here to get a good seat for the uh, banana derby, the monkey jockeys. Here they come, here they come. And oh my god. Oh my god. He's Number two monkey, wood doggy. Job well done. Never seen that before. Oh He's my god. Get him again. Get him again. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> that would have been to you. This is Gilligan, Gilligan T. Monkey. Hey, Gilligan. Gilligan. He, is a, he is a 22 year old. 22 year old. 22 years old. Oh, he's a little monkey that got us involved in the banana derby. Okay, he's a real nice <laughs> I think the monkey's uncle's there. That's right. He got us involved. We're having breakfast one morning. We looked out the window. He's riding around one of our old house, hanging out by the ears. This evening, Gilligan's riding on Ace. Ace here, he's a dirty dandy judo from Hillsborough County, Florida. Ace does all the work. Gilligan takes all the credit. How about giving Ace a hand for being this well done? That still counts for something, my friends. He's riding on Luna. Luna here, she's a nice mixed breed shepherd for Miami Dade Animal Control. How about a nice hand for Luna? She's a good girl. Yeah, take a lap. Oh, it's a ladder climbing, ladder climbing dog there. Oh my goodness. Tiny boots. Tiny boots gonna walk the high wire here. Like after the race, you can meet Gilligan the monkey. So got my picture taken with Gilligan the monkey, and they uh, they actually will take your picture for you. You hand them your phone, and then they take the pictures of uh, of you with the monkey. So they have the monkey like get to different poses, and uh, it was a lot of fun. But I have a thing like I've watched a lot of. There was one point in my life I wanted a monkey for a pet, so I kind of did some research on the logistics, and apparently monkeys, they they, they they tell you in these like documentaries about owning a monkey as a pet, any monkey will bite. You literally cannot train a monkey not to bite. Sometimes they just they just get mad and they bite you. So I'm like nervous, like he looks at me with his open mouth, and I'm like afraid he's gonna like sink his, sink his teeth into me. And then he actually like starts, he grabs my hat, and like pulls it off, and like pulls my glasses off, and starts like rifling his hands through my hair, which is like, it's absolutely terrifying at the same time, completely amazing. I, I don't know, I love that a monkey uh, just started grabbing things off my head. It's absolutely amazing. Definitely, uh, it was $10, $10 to get the picture. Definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, I've never had a monkey sit on my lap before. Never had a monkey pull off my hat, and pull off my glasses before. It was, uh, what an experience. The twirling alligators here. Look at this rotating clown ride here. There we have this ride has pirate ships and Donald Duck. Take your pick. We're here we have Davy Jones's locker. Oh look at this little 
pirate mouse mascot. He's pretty, he's pretty amazing. The uh, Rhinestone Roper is here. I've seen this show at two other state fairs. One of the be one of the best uh, traveling entertainment shows on the state fair circuit. Oh, I love this. This is the exploding exploding knife trick. It's the Pharaoh's Fury there. <laughs> yeah, Egyptian themed boat ride. Oh, you can see the pharaoh there, his eyes are actually glowing red. You can see that while he's uh, barreling by. It's been a little while since I've been on one of these boats, so uh, let's take a ride on the pharaoh here. All right, let's find us a seat here on the pharaoh's fury. So we'll sit right here towards the middle. I don't know where the best seat is on this type of ride. All right. Yeah! There we go. A gentle rocking there. Whoa. There we go. Building up some, uh, some height there. Oh, that's really high. Oh. There we go. Guys, a POV. Oh, jeez! Oh, 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 my goodness! Oh, too freaking high! Look off to the to the side there. Some of the rocking motion of the boat. Oh man! Good old zipper. Of course, there's no single ride, no single riders on the zipper, so there'll be no uh, no zippering here at the Georgia State Fair tonight. A lot of screams coming from the zipper. Oh, just reversed. There's people in there. Here we have the high roller, the Las Vegas casino themed ride. See how it like torques them around there, those tight circles. And who do we got there on the back? We got Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe. Who's that gangster? Which gangster is that? And then uh, a couple of showgirls as well. Uh, gently, gently lets them go. Oh wait, no, it's just just changing directions. Oh my god. Alright, let's find our see here. Oh. There we go. Oh. That's unpleasant. Oh my goodness. So I have lost some weight. At this point I've lost um, 32 pounds from my starting weight, which I was happy about. And then when I was at the uh, Alabama State Fair, uh, I was I realized that that rides are are more comfortable. Like, like I, I fit better in the rides. I'm not crunched. I don't have like this harness like shoved in my guts like I used to. So I'm like, okay, now I can be more comfortable riding these rides. I've lost a few pounds since the Alabama State Fair, 
And I just realized that there's a there's a downside to losing the weight too, because I was getting knocked around inside. Normally I'm like I'm like stuffed in there, but now I had a little wiggle room. I'm like okay, and that turned out to be maybe not the best thing because I was getting slammed around and my head kept hitting the the side, the uh, the, the, the headrest. I guess normally I'd be so squished in there that, I, that my body doesn't move around, but my body was just like being completely flung. So I don't know. I guess there's an optimal optimal weight to ride carnival rides. You want you don't want to be small enough to fit in them, but not small enough where you get like totally knocked around. Now I imagine these kids, these little kids that ride these rides, they, they they go in something like that, and I bet they're just like like rattling around like a like a like a rock in a tin can. All right, we might try out this twister as well, because uh, I don't think I've seen this before. I don't think I've seen this specific twirling ride. Of course, it incorporates some of the classic spinning ride elements to it, but uh, I don't think I've been on the Twister before, so we'll uh, we'll give this one a go as well. All right, looks like we got this uh, yellow car here. Oh, climb in. It's kind of like, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's kind of like a, kind of like a tilt-a-whirl, I guess would be the closest, the closest thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me give you guys a POV. All right, there we go. Go up the hill here, and then you twirl. This is coming down. Maybe a little rougher than a uh, than a tilt the world. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my gosh! Whoa! There we go! Oh! Yeah, you never know when it's gonna when it's gonna strike. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, there we go. Now I'm getting nauseous. Oh. oh yeah, you don't close your eyes. You never close your eyes. That makes that makes the nausea worse. Oh. So no single riders on the orbiter, so I can't take you guys on this. It makes me so sad. It breaks my heart. Here's the uh, Polar Express, just like that uh, creepy Tom Hanks movie. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, probably gonna skip this one. I think I've been spun around in a circle enough times tonight. All right, so I guess we will check out this uh, circus. There you go. Give it up for Pearson and Jacob. All right, so this is Circus Hollywood. Genuinely a lot of hula hoops. Oh wow, the human slinky. Oh, look at this. Motorcycle there on a, on a tight rope. The lady dangling from the bottom of the motorcycle there. Here they go. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. One dog to push the tube, one dog to stand on the tube, and one dog to run through the tube. Oh, there it goes. All right, time to get a little state fair dinner. Again, I've been trying to eat low carb, so we go to the, the big uh, smoked meat tent here. You can see the food grilling there, all that meat there on the open grill. All right, I went with the the uh, grilled chicken, 
kebab there and a bottle of Deer Park water. All right, this is very, very hot. You can see the steam rising off there. It's a pretty tasty log of chicken there. Sorry. Nothing else on this channel. I have taught people how to uh, how to eat low carb at the uh, at the state fair. Just look for the just look for the smell of uh, of grilling meats. Find the big tent with the uh, turkey legs and, and uh, pork chops and uh, chicken on a stick. And the little pig says, thank you for coming. So thank you for joining me here tonight at the Georgia State Fair. And I'm learning a lot about state fairs as I, as I tour the country visiting the different state fairs. Now, both this fair, the Georgia State Fair, and the Alabama State Fair that we went to a couple weeks ago, they don't have agricultural competitions. They don't have like animal shows they don't have like or arts and crafts exhibits which in some ways you know that's kind of the basis of what a fair is so i found that very interesting um just pointing that out is a little different you know mostly what we have here we have uh, a midway we have people you know some people selling things um we have uh, you know traveling performing acts and uh, you know racing pigs and you know monkeys riding dogs so some fun stuff here but i just thought it was important to notate that those two fairs did not have a lot of the traditional state fair things you didn't see any giant pumpkins you didn't see you know a cake competition anything like that those things are missing which i do try to pay attention to that stuff uh, visit that when i am at the individual uh, state fairs but uh so that is that is 21 state fair 21 in the bag some uh, hopefully some more state fairs coming up sooner rather than later but uh, thank you guys so much for following along on my journey it does mean a lot to me uh, if you like the videos please subscribe i uh, travel around the country filming roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses state fairs and other fun random things uh, if you would like to support the channel consider contributing to patreon three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you also selling enamel pins in the etsy shop and doing personalized messages on cameo personalized uh, videos for birthdays anniversaries or just for fun if you're interested in getting a personalized video from me check the description of this video uh, all the information is down there and all of that of course helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.